Cocoa Beach, Florida, where people gathered at sunrise this morning to watch Space Shuttle Discovery's final mission. After 39 trips into space, NASA's oldest surviving shuttle is settling into its retirement home. And that retirement home would be the Smithsonian Institution's facility at Dulles Airport, just outside of Washington, where we find Chip Reed this morning. Chip, good morning. Well, good morning to you. For security reasons, NASA is not releasing the precise path of discovery, but sometime after 10 a.m. Eastern time, it will pass over those trees behind me for its final landing at Dulles Airport. It was a very different kind of liftoff for Discovery. This morning, the shuttle hitched a ride from the Kennedy Space Center, mounted atop a 747. It'll soar 1,500 feet over the nation's capital, gliding over the Potomac River, Reagan National Airport, and the National Mall before touching down at Dulles Airport. That's where Charles Bolden and other former NASA astronauts and staff will be waiting. People get emotionally attached to, to things like the shuttle. You bet we do. Bolden, now the head of NASA, flew two of his four space missions on Discovery, taking part in one of the most important deliveries. Two, one, and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Discovery with the Hubble Space Telescope. Hubble opened uh, a totally new world, a totally new understanding of our universe. It's been 27 years of spectacular discoveries and nearly 143 million miles, carrying more crew members into space than any other shuttle. Now Discovery will remain grounded at the Smithsonian. It has completed 39 missions. Science teacher Becky McGaffin was teaching about the shuttle's legacy when we visited her at Walter Johnson High School in Maryland. She let us quiz the class and they made their interest clear. How many of you are disappointed the space shuttle program is ending? Despite the end of the shuttle era, the students hope space exploration will go on in a new direction. I'm really interested in like the, the thought of like other galaxies and you know what's beyond even our solar system. I just think that's really cool. And I'm pretty sure that we've answered so many questions by going into space and we can answer so many more. So this is no time to stop. Exactly. The class will be watching today's flyover, trying to get one last glimpse of discovery in the sky. And Charlie and Erica, as you mentioned, Discovery did one last flyover along what is known as the Space Coast uh, down there in Florida on its way here to the Dulles Airport. And I can tell you, I was down there the last couple of days and there is a tremendous amount of sadness that this program is now officially over. Yeah, tough to see that. You know, it reminds last me. Last flight chip, thanks. You know, it, it reminds me too that America's always been great because it's always had a frontier. Mm -hmm. You know, and the space shuttle is what space has meant to us. And Jim Cameron here the other day talking about the bottom of the ocean mm -hmm. as a frontier. It's interesting too being down there for the last shuttle launch. There was everyone was so sad, of course, to yeah. see the shuttle program end. But yet, what was interesting is uh, among a, a certain group of really dedicated people, too, there was this hope that somehow maybe something could still change because there was so much more to do. And you see with high school students and a lot of kids that we spoke to, yeah. they really believe there's still so much more to be done. So it'll be interesting to see where the space program goes.